Hey friends, Dr. Sherry here for another episode of Off the Couch. For those of you that don't know me, I used to be a clinical psychologist and now I'm a coach, speaker, and writer to women so that they can practice developing and using a thriving thought world. And I have a message for you today that is going to speak to exactly that. So a lot of times in our lives, we go through problems, right? We go through challenges, we go through a bunch of stuff that um, can seem to be overwhelming. And what is our tendency to do when we're going through a problem? A lot of times we can focus inward, right? And we can think about all of the ways that our life is miserable, or we can think about all of the, um, the challenges that we face. And you guys, a lot of times we have challenges that seem insurmountable, right? And it seems like the world's going to end in a lot of cases for us specifically, individually. Hang on just a second. I want to make sure that I can see um, who is watching. So it's not showing me for whatever reason, but hello, thank you for joining. Um, and comment below so that I can see your comments here. So I've been seeing a lot over the years of the ways that we try to encourage one another when we are facing challenges, when we are facing um, obstacles in our lives or, or we're having problems that seem overwhelming and we just don't know how to get our minds out of it, right? And so lately, for whatever reason, I'm not sure, um, but you know, on social media, people share memes and people share quotes and all of those are well-intended and I think they're great and sometimes they hit people right where they are and you love them and like them and sometimes they irritate you and you scroll right on by, right? Um, but one of the ones that has come up quite frequently lately are uh, memes or quotes that talk about, hey, stop and take a look around. Remember that there are other people who are worse off than you, right? And um, that particular quote unquote encouragement has uh, struck me lately with how that has an impact on our thought worlds about how we think about ourselves, about how we think about other people. And I, th I think that, I do believe that when people say that, they mean well. And they mean, hey, you know, look at the bigger picture, uh, look on the bright side or whatever. But you guys, when you're in it, when you're in something, a problem, a challenge, an obstacle, whatever you want to call it, and it's in your face, it is really, really difficult to stop and say, ah, but let me look at how other people are doing, right? I mean, you can go from global to small. You can go from third world problems to you've heard people say hashtag first world problems, right? I had one this morning. I'm still doing it, actually, uh, trying to upgrade my cell phone, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. Upgrading my cell phone is like buying a car. It's like an all-day experience, right? And I'm so grateful that I have a cell phone, and I'm so grateful that I'm able to upgrade it so that I don't lose all of my data, right? And I have a phone that works more efficiently. Um, and yes, do I recognize that in the context of humanity, a cell phone is not that important, that there are people starving, there are people suffering, there are people um, being uh, killed, and kidnapped and things like that in all over the world, right? I understand that that is a tragic humanitarian issue. And when I compare that to my cell phone upgrade challenge that's taking all day, it seems minuscule. In fact, it seems like I shouldn't even care about that, right? Well, here's the thing. I don't think the two are comparable, right? So whatever problem you're facing from little, like, me with the cell phone upgrade, maybe it's bigger. Maybe you're facing financial problems, right? And you just don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. You just don't know where, you know, people say living paycheck to paycheck, but you don't literally, you don't know how you are going to put food on the table next week, or you don't know how you're going to pay your rent or your mortgage next week, right? That is a problem to you. And even that in comparison, if we were to try to compare that to people being murdered or killed or going hungry or, or whatever it is all across the world, those two are not comparable. So one, I think when people say, remember other people have it worse off than you, it's kind of a no brainer, yes. And you are 100% entitled to have your feelings of whatever situation you're facing today validated. They're real, 
Your feelings are real, they're legit, they don't need to control you, right? We know that, but they're real and, and they're okay to feel. You have permission to feel angry or sad or hurt or defeated or scared, any of those things when you're facing a challenge in your life, right? And I, I would say, you know, I've been guilty of, of saying to people, not when they're in the midst of a challenge, but just in general, you know, other people do have it worse off than us. And that's 100% correct. But we, again, are not creatures who can compare our problems, our feelings, our interpretations, our um, ruminations, the things that we worry about. We cannot compare those to other people, right? You are a unique amazing creature and your feelings and your thoughts and all of that are unique to you and they're not comparable to somebody else's experience in fact uh, research has shown that let's say people go through traumatic experiences like a hurricane right research has shown that all of those people respond differently to that same trauma right so even then, if you say, oh, we're comparing the same experience to another experience, that inside internal experience cannot be compared to somebody else. You know, we are so busy comparing ourselves and our experiences to other people. And you guys, it's just not legit. We can't do it. It's like, um, it's an incomparable comparison. So I want to encourage you with that today, that if you are facing a challenge or a problem or something that is freaking you out, it's okay to focus on that. It's okay to have those feelings come up of anger or sadness or disappointment. It's okay to process that in your own way. And it's okay to take time to take care of you in order to do that, right? Your feelings, your thoughts, your experiences are not void because somebody else in the world is doing quote unquote worse than you, all right? So that's, that's my first thing. The other thing is, you know, we already spend enough time comparing each other, like comparing the good stuff about other people to comparing ourselves, like, oh, I wish I could be like them, or oh, I wish I had what they had. And that's for another episode. We'll we'll get to that. But comparing your problems or having somebody else compare your problems to a, a problem that is either a humanitarian crisis or something worse that somebody else in your life is facing, that that does not help anything. One, it doesn't validate your feelings. Um, two, it certainly doesn't help you produce any useful solution towards an outcome that you're desiring because of that problem, right? So don't ignore your problems. Don't minimize your experiences, your emotions, because somebody else is going through something, right? It is not a competition. We're not in a competition to see who can suffer the most. People suffer in the world every day from small, very small things to very large scale things. And your, your experience of whatever problem you're facing is yours. Own it. Use it. Use it to develop a solution, but don't dismiss it. And that's my encouragement to you today. The other thing I wanted to just briefly touch on, we've got two minutes left. Um, sometimes we do, we look at our families and our friends, and sometimes we are in need of encouragement, right? We're facing something and we're in need of encouragement. But we tell ourselves that our friend or family member is going through something, quote unquote, worse, right? And so then we don't take that opportunity to seek encouragement from them. And I am here to tell you, I can tell you from firsthand experience, that if I'm going through a personal challenge, and a friend of mine reaches out to me about their own challenge, I, it is the last thought in my mind. I would never even think, oh my goodness, why are they bothering me with this? Their problem is so insignificant. In fact, you guys, what it does is it helps somebody get outside of themselves. Because sometimes when we're so wrapped up in our own problem, it does help for people to come out and, and to us to seek encouragement, to seek counsel, to seek guidance from us about their challenge, about their issue that they're having, right? Because again, it gets us outside of ourselves and sometimes that rumination thought cycle that we can get into. And it allows us to be a little bit more objective about our own experience. And it allows us to still validate our experience. So I don't want you to think that because you're dealing with something or because a friend or a family member is dealing with something that you deem worse, that it's not okay for you to reach out to them. They want you to. They want their minds taken off of it. And they have not stopped being your friend or being a source of encouragement to you because they are experiencing problems of their own.
Okay, so that's my encouragement to you guys today. Um, if you use that quote, I would encourage you, you know, the quote, other people are worse off than you, so kind of check yourself. Use it for yourself. Um, that is not a source of encouragement to somebody that's facing a challenge, whether you deem that challenge small or big. So use it for yourself, keep yourself in check, make sure your experiences are um, matching your priorities in life, right? That you're not making a mountain out of a molehill and you're not making a molehill out of a mountain. All right, my friends, that's my wisdom for you today on Off the Couch with Dr. Sherry. I'll see you next week, next Tuesday, 1230, where I'm shifting perspectives and speaking life to you so that you too can have a thriving thought life. Love you guys. Have an awesome, awesome day.